Hey friends, welcome, welcome. Today I will do a kitchen video. I put up a little poll on YouTube on the community board and you asked for a kitchen build. So here we go. You will see how I turn this not so nice space into this. Let's go. So at the moment, of course, this is not the most pretty. I have empty spaces. I uh, missed the kitchen, so I just put some stuff down. I have three rooms. And I built this beautiful kitchen for a video where I showed you the trick with the magic wand. And, uh, you know, that's not working anymore. So I need to figure out how to do things that I did here, but then without the wands. Because this is no longer possible. And I'm not sure if I can do this. And I still can do this. I did the cup for that. Uh, maybe, but I won't. I won't do the same kitchen. I uh, I love color, so I'm gonna use a lot of color, and it will be a little Eastern, Middle Eastern. And I I'm excited. So I'm not sure yet. I might do another layout. Because I might do a elevated uh, dining room. So I love my build blocks, guys. And I definitely need a door here. Because at that end I did one. And I need one here. So it's a little bit more close. So let's start there. First I need to get rid of this. And prepare everything. So let's start with, with making a nice door. Nope, not this one. Uh, this one. Make it this one. Uh oh. I kept the arch. I uh, like this design. It's a bit more cozy. Because that is way too big. So yeah. And now <laughs> I need to figure out where I want everything. Because I think these are the items I need for my kitchen. I don't need a kitchen with 10 of those. 20 of those. And, you know, For the cake parties. Because I have that on the other plot. So what I want to do is make the fireplace the focus point of my cooking kitchen. So I want to make here a kind of a cooking island. And on that side as well. And maybe here in the middle something else. And But I have an idea for this side. I made this little grill. It's really nice. And it's very simple. You have build block. I use the iron one because it fits that thing and then just place a floor vent square one and then the small one at the front and you have your little grill and then you place a jam spur on it and it looks like grilled meat you can also do cooking pots or a stew bowl or already cooked meat so i'm gonna play with that uh, let's see, I'm going to make a screen in the middle. Oh, that's the wrong side. Like this, that I think. Two of them. Right on. Oh, yes, so this will be the divider. Is that looks okay. I can place things down there. So now I need to figure out how to do this. And I'll use my magic cup. I can place it. Select it and then see where I want it. I guess there. Oh wait, I, and then I need to place this first. So that one will go in the middle. Like here. Select this thing and slide it against it. I don't mind that. Okay, I like where this is going. I wrapped the kept us all around. I have another little trick. You all know that we can't place anything on this thing. So annoying. And I found something out, guys. I did this. Because if I put this here and the group selected it, 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 no. But I just found out. I have a little plate here and it's kind of where the stove is. I'm going to play with the exact location. Group select the cup. Slide it where I want. 
and then oh this is fun okay let me do more this is how i'm doing the other side look it's straight under it i will fix it on this side let me see let me see let me see zip zip that's the wrong ball but <gasps> You don't really see that little plate. You just saw me slide this thing underneath the oven. And I was experimenting with this a little and I found out because if you look, if I pick up the cup, the middle one has a bigger hitbox, more squares. I have no idea how you call it than the other ones. Like this is the standard floor cabinet and I have here a makeshift one and the oh, range house just has a bigger one and it's exactly the same height as you want the best height I mean so it kind of almost goes into it and I don't even need a little plate underneath I can just put it there and of course this also works with this thing I think if, if you have two of them next to each other you can you know put everything you can put items on here. But today you have this thing sticking out and uh, that you need to hide. So that's why I used this one to make this. So this bit is kind of finished. I made two of the grills and I placed the table in this one. So I can put nice cups and stuff on there and i created this corner and it's the same this one is all the way in here so i have a plate there oh, this is so fun and a community member made shelves with a paper on top of a shelf and i think i like it it looks very cute in this build and the other side i did this to hide this one so it's uh, i always say making pictures is a puzzle so now i have this middle bit <sighs> the ugly um, mixing station and the ugly um, prep station and i know i can have a friend over and we both place this and the, 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 the thing together and then there are merged into each other but i like doing things alone to show you that what's possible so i come up with this this i've been playing with this for a, a few hours i spending too, way too much time on this but this is what i came up with i placed a homestead cabinet inside the mixing station and i now can still place a, a dessert bowl on it and then have an item on it so that works this is not ideal but i kind of like it so and I'm now doing the same to the other sides. I have my cup. Where's my cup? Here's my cup. And then I will just slide that in there. Do that a little bit further. I have another one. And I don't like the white cabinet, so I'm gonna hide it. This one in front of it. This is odd, right? But I'll hide it. And then let's do the other side. I have three more to go. This one needs to be in the middle. Kind of there. And then line it up with the other. And the last one. Now I have a big island. I know it's not perfect, but I I like this. I, uh, I don't mind. This middle bit needs something on top. So I came up with an idea. So with some built block pillars, I made a little construction by you know turning this one and then placing those on top. Then I have these, the bellflower wall cabinet, and I'm gonna place them all. I'm gonna try to make them in the middle. Three on each side. Oh, I need to step it still. And I think it will look pretty in okay, that, and then on the other lower end one as well this looks good let's see how it looks here i 
like this. Nice, nice. Yes. So, a little bit. Okay, the lower end is a little bit funky. Maybe it needs another bar. Yes, this looks makes way more sense. The kitchen is done and it is so pretty. Let me show you around. So I made the door, of course, as you saw, and then a very, very colorful kitchen. Because it's Arabian night, and this kitchen should light up very pretty in the evening. So that's why I am showing you this in the evening. Oh, so many colors. I love colors. So let me show you what I did. Well, you already saw a little bit what I did, but let me show you. So every corner has something in it. So um, the middle bit, I love it. With the counters on top and, you know, the little thing I found that you can place items here. And it's, it's, it's like 80% okay. And I learned when something is 80% okay, then I'm okay with it. Anyway, so little corners. And I did not use this room. So I just placed the door. I might make a office step or something. I don't know. But yeah, my middle bit. So I made this little cute wrath altar. Because, uh, you know, he's the king of soups. And my little uh, Magi Market uh, hotpot. I hope it will give me a uh, nice looty at the hotpot. <laughs> Because those decor bags are a pain to get. But yeah, Wrath and his little altar. It's very cute. So in this corner, my veggie spice herb um, card. And this little trick I learned from Jenny to place seedlings at the edge and then let them grow in, the, in these uh, veggie pots. And then you have kind of like a nice herb garden. And then my beautiful, beautiful kitchen. I, I love this thing. My uh, grill. Grill came out so pretty. And it looks like it's working right. So everything you see here is done with the magic cup. Or just placing items smart, like this little shelf. On and the paper on top. Kay Blake taught me this. She did this in her conservatory and I uh, got inspired. So yeah, and then my little sink area and then, you know the other side the corner, kitchen and a little fireplace because I needed this room to be divided up because it was too big and I like corners where you have to go around. It's a little fireplace and then here a little veggie uh, stock chip. Because down there is my veggie garden. So I thought that would be nice little storage. My sitting area. I might, you know, oh, I've got to, I've got to dress this. Okay, okay, I will do that later. But yeah, the, the sitting area where you can dine. I did not make a big dining room. Maybe I will do that in the Grand Harvest. I'm not sure. I don't know if I need it on this plot. Because I like this little corner. It's on my kitchen. My kitchen. It's so pretty. And the main colors, as you see, are reds and blues. So gold and warm tones. That's uh, my tip for you today. Combine cold and warm together to make a beautiful room that is not flat or plain. So I used the red tones of the classic and then the blue of shore. Because the these are cold colors, the iron and the stove. I think it combines very good. And then you have the copper and the wood. Those are more and the red tones. And just a splash of green. 
Yeah. Like it. Love it. I keep saying that for all my builds, aren't I? My kitchen. My beautiful, beautiful kitchen. So, Jenny and Cape Lake. Some other people inspired me to do this. Quinn, even. The middle bit. He made the beautiful middle bit of like, oh, I could do that. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for the inspiration. And, uh, and I hope my video will inspire other people to uh, to make a beautiful kitchen because kitchens are for me the worst well not the worst the most hard one to do because you have these ugly ugly counters and you need to have them close to each other because if I you know place this one all the way back and I'm making a recipe that I need two stoves I see myself running all over the place so they're kind of still in the same area same as the oven so it's all easy access and if I have like a recipe for cake parties or whatever I have another kitchen for that on oh, my phoenix center plot so I don't need a huge kitchen well it, it, it's kind of a huge kitchen but you know what I mean so yeah I might change up a little bit here and there I'm not 100% sure about the rats but I needed some really really warm color on the walls and you kind of limited the, the one color one is flat for me I like patterns and busy stuff so <laughs> yeah oh, hello there so my kitchen guys this was my kitchen video i hope you enjoyed it it was fun to make and challenging because many things i showed you was for me the first time i tried and that's how i work i uh, i just try and see what works and what does not i will leave you here i uh, hope you liked my video and if you did you know what to do Give me a like and a subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends. Bye bye.